Imagine being a mother not able to hear your baby cry or a child not able to hear your parents say, I love you. For millions of people around the world, that is the reality. But a Minneapolis-based nonprofit is helping to open up new opportunities for people that are suffering from hearing loss. Starkey Hearing Foundation's Dr. Jeff Larson joins us to talk about World Hearing Day. Dr. Larson, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Appreciate that. Uh, tell us what the goal is of World Hearing Day. Well, the <clears throat> World Hearing Day was created by the World Health Organization to try to raise awareness for preventing hearing loss and also uh, promote hearing, ear and hearing care around the world. And that's essentially what the Starkey Hearing Foundation mm -hmm. does every day. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Give us some more details of what the Starkey Foundation does. Well, since 1984, Bill and Tanny Austin and the Starkey Hearing Foundation team have been um, providing hearing health care services around the world. As a matter of fact, since that time, we, we estimate about 1.5 million hearing health care services. Mm. We fit hearing aids in 100 different countries. And uh, just in the last two weeks leading up to this day, we've been in four different continents, six different countries, and fit thousands of people with mm. hearing aids uh, who would never otherwise have had a chance to get those. What is that moment like right. when you see um, kind of the the switch flipped, literally. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's it's fantastic. It's just great to see people and the, their eyes light up and people who haven't heard for years reconnecting with their families. We've got uh, um, kids who haven't heard ever uh, suddenly yeah. having a chance to hear their parents' voices. It's a beautiful moment. Is it instant? Does it happen right away? You fit it? Or is for there many like a people. Ramp? For many people it is. Yeah, for many people it's an instant uh, uh, suddenly, wow, there it is. For other people it takes some time. Sometimes uh, kids who hadn't heard before, they don't even know what this is that mm. we're giving to them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, it can be uh, quite different. For people who are watching and saying, hey, I want to be a part of that, what can they do to help? Well, I. If they would go to our website, uh, StarkeyHearingFoundation.org, uh, they can see instructions there for how they can participate in helping the foundation. We uh, provide services around the world. It is very expensive, as you can imagine, right. and yet it's so worthwhile. And and what a what 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 better thing to do on, than on World Hearing Day to mm -hmm. make a donation? Hearing aids is one end of this. Uh, story, but the other part is trying to prevent uh, hearing loss, right? Yes, yes, we we do all we can to try to educate people. Uh, we're working with not only training people in the countries to understand about hearing loss and understand why they need to be careful around loud sounds, but we work with governments. We also develop national plans so that uh, we can improve the lives of people with hearing loss in those countries and also uh, yeah. promote that education so they know what's happening. All right, great work, Dr. Larson. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Thanks so much mm -hmm. for having me.